Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for coming and joining me today. Also for your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for February 13th, 2019. I do want to apologize for not having videos out the last couple of days. Uh, a very close and dear friend of mine uh, lost her child unexpectedly uh, this past week, and we've just been kind of dealing with that. So I do apologize for the lack of videos. I do apologize for those of you who have orders um, that you are waiting on. I will be getting those out to you. And thank you for uh, your patience in this time. So, okay, I'm going to tip you down. Okay. Oops. Fire signs. What do we got going on for the 13th of February in love? What can you tell me for our fire signs? All right. First card out, the fool. Aries showing up right, right in the beginning of the reading. Followed by the Eight of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. The person you're dealing with. Who are fire signs dealing with? Thank you. The three of pentacles in reverse. The nine of cauldrons. And the ace of cauldrons. Your guys' outcome for the 13th of February. This fire signs outcome. Thank you. Oh. Okay. So we got the Page of Swords, the Four of Shields, Knight of Wands. There's a whole bunch of them here. Okay. I'm going to take them all. Bottom of the deck. And your guys' shared energy is the Father which is the emperor in most decks, the six of cauldrons in reverse, and the ace of swords. Your bottom of the deck and overall theme is the ten of cauldrons. Beautiful energy for you fire signs for the 13th of February. So let's see what we got here. We will start with your shared energy. So somebody's taking a stand Somebody is standing their ground, putting their foot down. Um, things need to change. Things need to happen. I need the truth um, or I'm giving up. I'm walking away. I'm moving on. Um, yes, I realize you're my soulmate. Yes, I know the connection we share. Yes, I know for some of you, um, they have children, so it's making it hard for them to move forward and to begin this uh, relationship with you. But you're wanting the truth. You feel like you've been lied to. This person could have cut off communication with you in the past with the Six of Cups in the reverse. And you're just, you are, um, you're very uh, confident in yourself. You've grown so much in the last year, especially for you fire signs that um, you are at a very high vibration and you are to the point where you're no longer going to wait around. Some of you are ready to move on, move forward, um, because you know, you're going to be just fine without this person. Um, even though you do want this person in your life, you're tired of just sitting here waiting. You're tired of waiting for the truth. You're tired of waiting for them to wake up. I do, however, see this with the Ace of Swords and the Emperor together, they are awakening. They are opening their eyes to what this connection is, and they are realizing they need to take action. Um, <clears throat> so that's your guys' shared energy. Your guys' energy, fire signs, 
this can be vice versa, but I am going to refer to you guys in the top row um, and the person you're dealing with in the bottom row, but it can go back and forth. Just um, always be aware of that. So you're ready for this new beginning. You have uh, taken a lot of time, uh, a lot of introspection, a lot of dealing with your feelings, your thoughts, your uh, just everything that this relationship caused you in the past that you had to heal from, you have completed that. Um, and you're ready. You're ready to take that leap of faith. And uh, you can see in this card, that they're kind of looking out into um, over to something wondering, you know, are you, are you coming? Are you, am I wasting my time? What is going on? You're, uh, yeah, you could be, yeah. Okay. Um, you have began your spiritual journey already. For those of you who are in a soulmate twin flame relationship, um, you have already began your spiritual journey, already began your request. Know that this and who you need to be with, um, but you know how to do this. you are climbing those steps up to um, up here you see um whether they're angels your spirit guides it's the divine up here on this cliff and you are climbing the stairs to those so a lot of you um while you're waiting for your blessings to come in as you see those ships in the in the very background while you're waiting for your blessings to come come to you um, you, you're walking this spiritual path. You are, um, you are getting closer and closer to like raising your level of consciousness and being able to communicate with solar guides, angels, however you communicate with divine. could be fine, uh, facing some financial issues right now, and that's keeping you from taking this leap just yet. For some of you, um, you are trying to, uh, this feel of them intentionally in the dark, intentionally not telling you the truth, um, not lying to you necessarily, but not being, um, forthright with their information. Like I said, they could have blocked you. Um, but you really feel like you were left in the dark by this person intentionally to hide things from you. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I got kept, well, any, any, uh, earth sign, um, in their, especially if it's in their, uh, Yeah, their sun or moon, especially, but also their sun or rising in Venus as well. But I'm really picking up sun and moon, earth sign, very heavy. Um, they think about you questioning whether they do because they're not out to you. Um, for some of you, <clears throat> they... However, the third party energy they cut you off, or whether they left you both, I don't see the sharing of energy right now. Um, they could be overindulging in uh, alcohol or drugs to numb their emotions, numb their how they truly feel because they're scared to follow their heart. Um, 
they're also worried that if they leave this person and follow what they really truly want, that this person is going to like leave their head on a platter. They're going to uh, take everything from them. Uh, they're worried about money. They're worried about having financial hardship if they leave this person. But they are awakening. Like I said, they are waking up to the section. They are going to follow the, the device. Going to give them the they are waking them up to the truth. They could have this could have come to them in a dream, but they are going to follow their heart because um it's divinely guided. It has the the bird above here. Uh, they're they're coming out of their own self induced fog for some of you. Um, however, some of you uh, are really questioning whether I want to take them back like you should have done this a long time ago you should have never went back to them you should have, you're thinking all these things where sorry charlie it's a little too late but some of you are going to get that new beginning you are going to get that leap of faith you guys had a ton of outcome cards so i'm just going to kind of slide these off to the side your first outcome card was the Page of Swords. So if this person has blocked you from communication, you could be ch checking them out on the internet. You could be, um, you know, creeping their Facebook. Not like creepy, creepy, but, uh, or like stockish. But you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on in their life. Um, they're not giving you any information, so you feel you have to search for it yourself. Um, it is going to bring you the truth. You are going to find out some truth about something for some of you, you could be telling them the truth, but uh, they're really going to bring this wall down that they have built up around them out of fear. They put this wall up because they were scared to have feelings for you because they couldn't follow through with those feelings at the time. They were scared to invest their feelings in you because they didn't want to get back into a relationship like they are trying to get out of for some of you. And really, they were just honestly confused. Uh, they were in that initial awakening process where this whole connection, this whole situation was just confusing to them. And they honestly didn't know who to invest their pinnacles in. They are taking that wall down and they are going to let, um, they are going to let their emotions begin to uh, rule some of their decisions. For some of them, they have been making a head over heart decision about who they need to be with, should be with, um, because they're having a hard time getting out of this relationship. This is karma they're dealing with. We, uh, you know, the North and South nodes are in cancer and Capricorn. We are, um, getting rid of all our karma. We're getting rid of things that no longer need to be in our life. Um, and they are going to begin to deal with this. So, yeah. So, uh, they are getting out of this karmic situation that they're dealing with. They are going to have to heal from the karma that's left behind from this third party situation. And, uh, you know, the divorce, um, their family is really making this difficult as well because of their family traditions. This person could, um, really hold on tight to, um, to their traditions as well with the four of pentacles. They've had a lot of inner conflict. They've had a lot of uh, back and forth feelings, hot and cold, in and out, up and down. What, what Today I want this, tomorrow I want that. Um, they are going to also get out of that. They are just self-sabotaging their own happiness, self-sabotaging their, uh, their own environment. Also, they are having a lot of arguments with the person they're with, whether it be a karmic or a soulmate. Um, they are having a, or there's been a lot of arguments. And this is helping push them um, out of that situation as well, because the universe is helping them purge out what needs to be purged. They are going to come towards you very quickly with the Knight of Wands. They're coming in very fast, very passionately. You could be having some... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this person's very passionate about you and they could come at you offering you sex and not really much more than that right now, but it's not because they don't want it. It's because they're trying to get out of the other situation with the least amount of damage. 
You also have the high priestess here. You um, can almost feel them waking up. You can almost feel uh, what they're going through, their emotions. Um, but most importantly, follow your intuition uh, because some of you feel are feeling it's just not right. They're they're holding back for a reason, or they have been. Um, so if, make sure you're listening to your intuition. It is on point right now. Also, uh, with the moon that is coming the 19th of February, there's going to be a big shift in energy as well. Do your moon rituals because um, that's very important. Uh, also, this is somebody who's very uh, connected to source, whether you read cards, whether you're intuitive, whether you you know, speak with your angels, however it is that you communicate, it's going to get stronger with this next energy shift. And your final outcome card is the star, a time of healing, a time of um, reflection, a time of replenishing your energy, yourself, uh, really focusing on what you want, what's going to make you happy. And for me, uh, it's a card of divine timing. It's a card signifying that when the stars align just right, this this uh, relationship is going to move together very quickly. They um, could reach out to you in a message after months, years of not speaking. Um, you You're starting to think that the relationship is not um, going to go anywhere and out of the blue, they're going to contact you um, because they have been working on healing themselves as well. They're finally letting that wall come down so they can deal with their emotions and heal from the thick not all in their life so they can heal from an allowed without all conflict. It's going to happen quickly. It's going to move forward. For the 13th of February. Yeah, but you're gonna you're gonna find out some truth with this page of swords. Um you're going to uh you're going something, it could be from somebody younger as well. Um this person could be younger to you. Oops. All right. Bottom of the deck is soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Uh, your guys' first card out was healing family issues. So like I said, they have a lot of karma they have to heal from uh, or a lot of karmic events that they are going to have to heal from. Um, this is also you forgiving each other for all the hurt um, on this path, on this journey. This is also forgiving um, any of your family members, any of your uh, siblings and your love life is going to, uh, benefit once you release all that harboring, um, feelings that you've had towards a certain situation. This is also healing. So some of you could be, uh, healing from a surgery or, um, something in your family has been helping you through this time. All right. Your second one out was make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Like I said, follow your intuition your guys' intuition is on point. Whatever you feel you are meant to do, by all means, do it and make the effort. Um, take the guided steps that you are, or take the steps you are being guided to take because this is a great love for you in the works. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And this is just every day. Um, not, you know, not like hitting on everybody, but you can be flirty, happy, lighthearted. Extend that energy and you're going to receive that positive flirty energy back and it's just going to uplift you. Um, so, so allow that heaviness of your heart to release and extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, all right, fire signs. Once again, I want to thank you for being patient with me in this, in this difficult time that we, that I am, uh, going through. Um, I do so much appreciate each and every one of you for coming to my channel. Also, February 14th, I will be going live. I'm going to get you guys back up. Um, February 14th, I will be doing live love readings, uh, on my channel. I will be posting in the community tab on my channel, what, um, times I will be doing those. So please, uh, watch for that. Um, and let's see what else am I forgetting? 
oh, uh, I got uh, a store front on Teespring. So check that out. It's Indigo Visions. Um, it will be a link to my YouTube page too. So um, each thing I have on there, I'm donating uh, the proceeds to different uh, organizations. So check it out. All right, guys, I send you love, light, and God bless.